Today on Shop Nation, we upgrade your air system and get rid of this mess. Today on Shop Nation, we get rid of a very common shop problem and we do some upgrades to your air system. The first upgrade is using this retractable air hose. Not only keeps your shop cleaner, but it makes it easy to use when you do need to use air tools. This means no more air hose on the ground for you to trip over. The second way is a better way to drain water out of your air compressor. If you've never drained water out of your air compressor, you should. As air is compressed, water condenses. Over time, it lets you build up a level of water in your tank. Why is this bad? Your tanks are carbon steel. Carbon steel rusts. A lot of rust is bad because it will eventually compromise your tank and could potentially kill you. This is one of those overlooked and potentially dangerous details in your shop. So with the drain being so low, it makes it really hard to empty. I'm actually going to raise the whole tank and have a slide out reservoir that I can drain into, making this easier. Let's get started. Once I figured out how high to mount the hose reel, I then just simply laid out the mounting holes. I'm using quarter inch by two and a half inch lag bolts that I'm drilling directly into the studs. You should always pre-drill for lag bolts. With the holes drilled, I use my impact driver to tighten them up. As you can see, I finished the last part with a box wrench. So up next is to get some dimensions from the air compressor to see how big I need to make my stand. I've already got all my measurements and so now I just need to make all my cuts. To make this stand I'm just going to use a 2x6 construction. Now normally I'd take more time to make the stand a little bit better looking, but for this, it's all about functionality. The construction for the stand is simple but strong. The only requirement really is that I have access to the center underneath the air compressor so that I can slide in my reservoir. slides right into place and anytime I want to drain the tank it'll empty right in the reservoir. All I need now is to cut a hole. shooting a shot right now, but... Okay, bye. No, that's no, okay. I'll, I'm going to do voiceover in this part. Okay. I need to make a type of funnel to direct the water into the reservoir. The solution to this problem for me is a 3D printed funnel that I designed on Fusion 360 and printed out on my 3D printer at home. So this will install over the hole, screw into the top, and that will divert all of the water into the reservoir. Now you don't have to get this fancy, you can just use a piece of PVC pipe, some scrap pieces of wood. I just thought it would be a cool project for a 3D print. One more issue that you may run into is that inside the reservoir the water might hit the bottom and spray out depending on the pressure that you're emptying your tank at. So to solve that problem I designed another 3D printed part that I'm calling a diffuser that will sit in the bottom of the tank and as the air hits the diffuser it will kind of push it into the tank rather than up out of the tank. Again, designed this part on Fusion 360 and 3D printed it the same. 
Again, for me, I'm using a 3D printed part out of ABS plastic, but you can just as easily use scrap pieces of wood, maybe cut at an angle. So one problem that I knew I was going to run into was this doesn't reach that. So what I've done, they sell little three foot sections of hose. Simple. Looks like I need to adjust the amount of free cord that hangs down because it kind of hits the air tank. So I'm going to Loosen these Allen screws. And slide the socket in wherever you need it. So as you can see with just two upgrades, you can make your air compressor easier to use and easier to clean. And as an added bonus, safer. Shop Nation, thank you again for watching. I really mean it. Subscribe if you like the channel and you want to see future upgrades. Uh, like the video, comment if you've got any questions or suggestions. See you guys next time.